So in simple linear regression, we also need to talk about some of the limitations that it does have. So conceptually, you know, we've been drawing up these scatter plots, something like this, where we have our predicting variable, which is our x variable, so predicting, our predictor. And this is our response. So let's suppose that, you know what, let me, let me mess around with some of these data points again. Want a couple more, kind of like this, and like that. Okay, so let's suppose that this is some positive relationship. We've got something that looks like this. And let's say, I don't know, it's tree heights or something. And we're doing, so maybe our response is the tree height. And we're looking at how wide the base of the tree is. OK, so we kind of can see, like, OK, if the base of the tree is getting wider and wider, then the tree is probably getting taller and taller. Uh, so we can kind of compare those two one to another. OK, so one thing that we can do, or that we need to realize, is that the range for which we have collected data is only between the predictor that is the smallest and the predictor that is the largest. That is the range for which we have collected data. And once we've created our model and we're satisfied with the model that we have, we are really good at making predictions within inside of this range. However, oftentimes we may have questions that take us outside of the range of our predictor. Let's, let's say that I wanted to know, well, what happens if I have a tree that is this wide? Could I make a prediction? The answer is yes, you can make a prediction, but it's dangerous. So we are well outside of our range, and my prediction would be, would land me right about there. Now the problem with this isn't anything like mathematical about like our model, like we can continue this line out and make a prediction. That's not what's, what the problem is. The problem is, is that we don't know what, let me use a different color, let's use some blue, we don't know what the pattern is outside of this range. Just because we found a linear regression doesn't mean that that fully explains what's going on. Like what if from here on out that the data does something like that? Well now look how far away we are from what actually is going on. Maybe there's an upper limit to how tall the trees can grow, but their, their bases can get wider and wider for whatever specific value of tree that we have. So what this is is that we need to make sure that our predictions are within within range collected. Now, in like practical matters, like could we go a little bit outside, a little bit above, and a little bit below? And the answer is yes. Yes, we can. But the further and further we get away, the more and more danger we risk of being further and further away from what's actually going on. Now, it's possible, it's possible that the data follows this line. But the thing is, is that we don't know exactly what's going on. Is it following kind of this green up top, or is it following this blue coming across? Uh, this is also why oftentimes when we are doing our regression analysis, when we finally are able to get our equation, so you know we, we get our equation that's you know this y equals beta naught plus beta one x. And when we get it for our estimates, we have b0 plus b1 x. It's oftentimes why the interpretation of beta naught, like a lot of times it's complete nonsense. So let's take this example where we're doing like uh, tree width and tree height. 
And so here, if we continue on down, this is where our B naught would be. And so if we interpreted it, it would be like, okay, if our tree has basically zero width, or maybe, you know, like a teeny tiny amount of width, then the height of the tree is negative. Like, I don't even know what that means. Does it mean like it's growing into the ground or that it's invert? I don't know. It is nonsense. A lot of times our intersection is nonsense in, uh, in the range of what's going on because what's really happening is it might flatten out or come down to something like this. It follows a different pattern. A lot of times the interpretation of our intersection uh, is nonsense. Not always. Uh, but a lot of times uh, it is. So, in recap, we need to make sure that the predictions that we are making uh, from our model are within the range of the data that we have collected or just a little bit above and a little bit uh, below. But the further and further we get away from the range that we actually collected our data, the more and more likely that we are going to have serious errors uh, from what reality uh, actually is doing.